Introducing the handmade, limited edition release of Births, Deaths and Marriages. Let me take you through the steps of how I got here and show you guys what you get with each pack. I started working up a logo with fonts, but soon realized I wanted more of a hand-drawn feel, so I enlisted the help of calligrapher Xander at XYZ Inc. to bring my design to life. With the addition of a few Photoshop filters and a textured background, the digital cover was ready to go. The question now was how to bring that to life and on an independent budget. With the logo in place, I now had to source the perfect box. It had to be the right size, of great quality, and be strong enough for me to emboss the logo into the lid. This is harder than you'd think. It proved far too expensive to have boxes made and initially hard to find online, until I came across usbox.com. I ordered a few boxes to check them out and to see how I could get the logo into the lid. I worked out the size I wanted my logo to appear on the box lid and sent off a JPEG to ANG Engraving. About three days later I had my logo tool piece and demo boxes ready to test on. After trying everything from mallets to vices to get the tool to imprint the lid, my friend Brad Dembo told me about the Arbor Press. I tracked a three ton press down on Craigslist for about 60 bucks and put it to the test. I placed a protective sheet between the press and the lid to shield it from any rust or dirt. This size press proved to be perfect for the project. The lid fit like a glove and left lots of room for the leather. I set the tool in place and applied lots of pressure. It didn't take long to get a solid emboss in the lid. The next trick was how do I make it gold? A friend of mine, Lexi Beerman from Nekesis Jewelry, suggested I try some gold spray paint. The idea was to spray the tool, then quickly load it into the lid sitting in the press, embossing the design and colour into place all at the same time. The experiment was a success and my custom handmade boxes were ready to roll out. I wanted to add as many different textures to the pack as possible and decided to package the actual disc in a small burlap bag. I found the perfect size online through Gifts International. I developed another logo for the bags and had a stencil created through customstencil.com. I applied the logo to the bags using the stencil and black spray paint. I hand wrote the lyrics, scanned them in and had them printed on different stocks, mixing colours, textures and weights. Marty at Marty Popkin Printing was a great help and also assisted in the printing of six different photos. The pack contains two new press shots by JD Narrow. An old press shot from my first photo shoot as a solo artist with Nick Moyer. A favourite shot from my wedding by Nathan Miller. Another shot by JD, this one from the video shoot for Heart of Mine. And a shot by my mum from my childhood in New Zealand. I designed another logo for a custom button for the pack, adding some more colour. And a second button, this time using the master logo found on the box. I had 20 cent pieces flown in from Hong Kong. I wanted to add something to the pack that represented my time there as a teenager. Cooper's, my favorite beer from Australia, kindly supplied me with some bottle tops. We got some gum leaves from Australia and also added some feathers for further texture. And of course, the CD itself. Final touch was to number and sign each pack, leaving my mark on the lid of the box. I really wanted the packaging to match the weight of the album title and to offer the listener something unique. The idea was to create a memento box full of items from a person's life that marked important occasions and were worth keeping. With lots of patience and help from some close friends, I was able to continue with my DIY theme of the recording and ended up with something I think people will enjoy and really like to hang on to. No, no.
Go.